In response to a string of crashes, San Jose is now hoping that big tech might be able to help improve pedestrian safety. Crowd Force Justin Campbell joins us live in San Jose with more on how city officials hope you know AI can help save lives. Justin? Yeah, that's right, Grant. It's the latest trend right now in technology, and Mayor Matt Mahan has partnered with a technology foundation to develop a technology that would detect pedestrians in the intersection. And he also wants to hear from other tech people here in the community. So if you're a software developer, please submit a proposal via the link in the description. Mayor Matt Mahan offering a $3,000 cash prize to whomever can help design an AI-based system to detect pedestrians on the street day and night. Partnered with Tiny ML, Sony, and San Jose's Department of Transportation to launch a global traffic safety Hackathon. The city is hoping to use tiny machine learnings AI software and cameras. This one we use for machine vision. So this one has a small camera. Uh, shown, shown, shown here, and you can see it's, it's extremely small. Tiny ML executive Evgeny Kusev says the device can be placed at intersections, which can detect pedestrians. Not an actual picture of you, but it can report back in real time. Deploy this area, these devices all over the city, and you can see some problems, problem areas, and problem, for example, intersections, and you know what the root cause of there. It could be just not enough uh, visibility there or maybe something to do with traffic lights. Yusuf says deploying the AI software will help build predictive models and see things before things actually happen. And make this uh, all these streets and intersections more intelligent in, in a way. So. Now, if you have an idea and you want to put together a proposal, head over to cron4.com. We'll get a link up on our website in a little bit so you can submit your idea to the city. They will be choosing the winner in mid-September, and you'll be notified by October. We're live here in downtown San Jose. Justin Campbell, Cron4 News.